young woman as a mother, and an ordinary carpenter stepping into the role of his earthly father, who, even among the angels, would have ever expected such a plan from the almighty, all-powerful God. After all, these were just simple humans he had created. The same humans who had believed the lies of the fallen angel and had betrayed him. Yet still, out of his great love for them, for us, God executed the plan he had set in motion before time began. God so loved the world he created that he defied all logic and expectation and sent his son, the incarnate representation of himself, down to earth as a baby, as a helpless infant to be raised by and among the humans he had created. After 33 years of living among these people, preaching and ministering to them, God would perform the ultimate expression of his love and would willingly sacrifice his life as a payment for the debt the human's rebellion had created. After this sacrifice, Jesus would rise from the dead, proving his authority over death itself, and would provide a pathway through his own blood for the people of earth who believed in him to mend their relationship with God and to spend eternity with him. That depth of love is unfathomable. I imagine that none of the angels who were there, not even Gabriel, who gave the news to Zechariah, Elizabeth, Mary, and Joseph, I imagine none of them ever expected this to be God's great plan of salvation. 2,000 years ago, God so loved the world that he confounded all expectation and came to earth as a baby. The first and best Christmas gift the world would ever and will ever know. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Amen. Amen. Amen.
I'd like to thank all of you for coming. I'd also like to thank all of you who were involved in this program. It was beautiful. Amen. Amen. I'd like to thank you for all that you did with the children. I'd like to thank you and all the help uh, that came. This was, like I said, just an awesome program. And as we close it, let us close it with prayer. Remember, we will have a potluck. Everybody is invited. It will be through these doors into the next doors. Shall we bow our heads? Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this beautiful Sabbath day. Lord, my heart has been touched. We pray that what was done here was done to your glory. We thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. And we pray that you help us as we leave here today to remember why we actually celebrate this time of year. Help us to use this time of year to share the gospel message with those we come in contact with. Those who are frazzled because they haven't got all their shopping done. Those who are lonely because there's nobody there for them to celebrate Christmas with. Father, help us to be a blessing that you've created us to be to this world who needs Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, all this we ask and pray in his name. Amen. Amen.